service transforming providing infrastructure, which is cloud, and we're talking about transforming business, which is big data, and monetizing data for value. Right, and the only way you can do that is if you're agile enough to spin up new businesses, analyze the data that you have, right? John, you, you talk to customers about this all the time. Yeah, I think this uh, amazing transmission of the marketplace. Innovation is, is, is the word we hear all the time. Uh, innovation, you see the Facebook IPO, a new generation of infrastructure and applications is driving IT to be the most exciting place right now. And infrastructure with cloud and big data, it really crystallizes and, and clarifies the mandate for CIOs and developers. Where do you think EMC is positioned in all of this? You guys have some uh, pretty good insights. Well, we've, we've seen the transformation of EMC over the last couple of years now. Of course, the marketing always leads you know, reality. And you guys started with cloud meets big data, but I think it's proven. 2012, Maggie, is the year of the cloud. Now, we, yeah, did a, we did a absolutely. survey a year ago, and only about 9% of the respondents said that hybrid cloud was their primary uh, cloud strategy. Today, that number, we just finished the survey, 37%. Right, so and that's going to go up. Group. I will bet you that number is going to grow even more. Now the second piece is, last year 15% of the audience, which is a fairly, fairly sizable figure, said that cloud is a meaningless buzzword. Today that's down to 5%. So cloud's real. We're calling 2012 the year of the cloud. Wow. Uh, EMC is positioned beautifully for the cloud because when we talk to customers, they all know they want to use big data and cloud, but they need help. Right now it's a nascent stage and they are looking at EMC and EMC's consulting services organization is helping them there. At the same time on the product side, with Pat Gelsinger and the team doing a lot of acquisitions and revamping their product line with the Mega Launch 2, you see EMC really fill that headroom on the product side and on the consulting well, side. Well, look at the and people that are here today just to hear these messages. I mean, that's why they're at EMC yeah. World, right? Yeah, it's an exciting time, IT right now. Well, you have a lot of vectors, right? You talk about the CIO Summit, yep. you've got the big the Data Science Summit, you got, you know, a, a lot of different constituencies that you're out touching. And I think you're very well positioned from that standpoint. In Silicon Valley, where I live, um, venture capital is always kind of a bellwether for the future trends. And right now, the consumer market has been fished out in terms of investments, Facebook, Twitter, and all those social investments. Right now, the hottest thing in Silicon Valley relative to venture capital is IT. And with IT as a service and the transmission with big data, companies like Cloudera, Greenplum, which is a startup now bought by EMC, the VCs are investing heavily in startups in IT. So IT really is transforming and the customers feel that and they're evolving, modernizing think, their infrastructure. I think customers are finally really getting their arms around the value of big data and the, and the value of the analytics with them. Well, I want to make a point about that because so we talked about, talk about cloud being the IT transformation and big data being the business transformation. Everybody talks about the three V's of the big data, uh, of velocity, volume, and variety. There's yeah. a fourth V, uh, which is value. And again, we just did the survey, the number one challenge customers have with big data is figuring out how to get value out of it, how to monetize it. So that's the real opportunity. Again, cloud meets big data is great position. And there's position. so many great case studies, right, around the uses of big data. In every industry, you can go, it doesn't matter what the industry is, there's just so many great, great case big studies. Big data is disrupting there. the business marketplace right now because businesses for the first time can do things they've never done before around instrumenting their business using predictive analytics from disaster and recovery all the way to forecasting. So big data is definitely a mandate on everyone's radar. People just don't know what it means to them yet. So I think that's a really important point yeah, found. I think in terms of where we're at, people are talking about big data strategies. Yeah. They're not talking about big data deployments. They're talking about cloud deployments, cloud management. That's really top of mind. Strategy with big data is really where these customers are at right now, trying to figure it all out. Yeah, you Dave. know, we've got some customers here. We've got Ted Wayman, who is our anchor from uh, our show, The Take, and he's got some customers down here. Let's go to Ted and have him do some customer interviews. Take it away, Ted. Are we still on? We're live. Ted, We're live. customer interviews. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Maggie. Thank you. Know, <laughs> EMC World is 2012 yeah. is all about change and agility. It's We're going to talk to some end users here green who here. can tell us about how it's exciting time really right. IT oh has changed God. their companies. I got a couple of my favorite folks over here. First of all, you guys stand up. Nice to see you. Stand up. First of all, tell me your first name and the company you're with. Um, my name is George Elston with Omega Phi. And yourself? It's Sylvia Kirk with Whole Foods. Lone Star College System. Excellent. Hey, first of all, guys, we know how IT has really changed business and being agile. How has EMC Solutions specifically helped your business? Uh, it, their products are really wonderful. We have a, a great return on our investment on their D, data domain uh, hardware. How would you say it's changed your business, some of the EMC Solutions? Well, the biggest part is, is in order for you to be agile for the business, your infrastructure has to be agile. 
and having that ability, whether it in our case with the VMAX, to, to be able to provide that level of service, you've got to have the foundation. And EMC, we built that foundation on. So, so much today is about data analytics. You're able to extract that information where in years past you couldn't. Has that helped your business? Yes, it has. It's We're able to know what we're doing as far as data is concerned, how much we're moving, what's changing. Quickly, before we set it back, give me your biggest IT win over the past year. Um, the VNX that we have is uh, added scalability and management to our environment. Your biggest IT win? That would be the data domain. Excellent. Eight years. Uh, straightforward, the VMAX and virtualization. You've heard it here. Guys, thank you. So, Maggie, this is an interesting week as we kind of come back to EMC 2012. A lot of solutions here, a lot of partners, a lot of people talking about how much they've had. Let's throw All it back right. to you. Thank you, Ted. Thanks so much. And I am here with Dave Valente and John Furrier. And you know, we're talking about the transformation of IT and the transformation of the infrastructure, but a big piece of this is the people need to transform as well. Well, here's the thing. I mean, the statistics are actually quite alarming, Maggie. If you look at the $250 billion that is spent on servers and storage and related infrastructure around that, including people, 60% of that is labor. 60%. 60%. Now, wow. we're supposed to be automating. IT is all about yeah. automation. And if that doesn't change, then it's going to go up to 70. And what we have is decades of hardened infrastructure and processes that is stifling innovation. Everybody talks about 70% of investments go to running the business, 30% go to growing the business. In order for that to change, we have to attack that labor problem. Right, so right. it's key. And so people have to reinvent themselves. They got to find out, figure out how to become cloud architects, how to help with data science. And that really is something that we see EMC trying right. to promote. And well, we have the second the second data science summit yep. here at EMC World and, and we're getting- Yeah, with Meg, what's interesting is that the people equation is really important. And I just tweeted that earlier on the Cube. It's not just cost reduction from a labor standpoint, it's an empowerment. People really want to know about their yes. jobs. And in this world of connected social, a lot of the workflow is changing. So the role of the person as an individual within their organization is important on a personal level and skill set. So all that's changing with big data, with virtualization. IT is actually revitalizing the labor market on a personal level. So that's another exciting and, thing we're tracking. people are threatened by that. I was going to say, how do you mitigate the fear? Well, you know, but here's, here's my message. If you're a backup administrator, you're a storage administrator, you're great at managing loans, you really want to find ways to update your skill sets, participate as potentially a cloud architect, a cloud broker, maybe maybe data scientists, maybe mashing up data. There's a lot of great new opportunities well, there's a, there's out a, there. There's a class of people out there that really want to be relevant and yeah. do a good job. So what they're we doing is- We all do, right? We all want to grow right. in, our, in our own and, careers. And they're seeking out information. So you guys are broadcasting direct with EMC TV, the blogosphere and quit Twitter. New relationships are forming on a global basis. So we're seeing that social network phenomenon really impact the workforce. And so the smart CIOs are embracing that. Absolutely. Companies like Jive and Yammer, they're out there new doing- New collaboration it. tools. It's yeah. a collaborative world. And, you know, right, well, well, big data, of course, collaboration. It forces to break, you have to break yeah. those silos down. Everybody gets access to the information. Everybody gets to have their input and, and that's where you see that's why EMC, innovation. That's why EMC is so exciting right now to the market is that because the messaging is simple and elegant. So you got cloud and big data and that's kind of unknown right now and evolving. So EMC is not just a storage company. They've moved oh, themselves to being an absolute computer company, software company and solutions company. You know what? Let's go back to Ted and we're going to throw it back to Ted to do a couple more customer interviews. Take it away, Ted. All right, Meg. You know, last year the word big data and cloud I think was kind of brought to the mainstream. Now it's all about IT and how agility can take their company to the next level. We're going to talk some more end users and clients. Hi guys, your first name and the company you're from. Yeah, my name's Steve and I'm with NYSE Euronext. Excellent, and you? Yes, I'm Laura Mattingly. I'm with Louisville Gas and Electric. Well, welcome to uh, EMC 2012. We're talking about how IT solutions, EMC IT solutions has helped your business, maybe your biggest win over the past year. Can you give us a quick description? Yeah, sure. I mean, IT is at the core of our business, right? And um, you know, EMC has partnered with us to put out our community platform, which is our cloud offering to the financial community. And uh, it's been very successful to date, and EMC's been uh, key to that success. How, some of the EMC solutions that you have, how does that differentiate from your competition? Oh, absolutely. With the virtual desktop solution we just implemented, uh, the VBlock solution, we've allowed our mobile workforce to do storm restoration a lot faster than a lot of our competitors, which obviously helps our customer SAT numbers. I'm going to ask both of you, what were your biggest IT wins so far this year? I would say the virtual desktop implementation, uh, the buy-in, and the way we've helped the business has been outstanding. 
Yours? Uh, ours would be the consolidation onto uh, the unified storage platform. We're up to 65% of our total storage footprint. That saved us a lot of money, yet uh, yielded a lot of performance wins for the business and our customers. So Good stuff. Have a great week at EMC World and be safe in Vegas. Thank, Thank you, you, you guys. Much. So Maggie, no doubt about it, continue. Clients really are happy with a lot of the solutions they've gotten at EMC over the year. And they're really going to take this week's analytics, all the data information they get to kind of help their companies out. And we'll see what they can do next year. So let's go back to Maggie. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, after, after. Oh, yeah, good. I may actually go back to the booth. Okay, thank you very much, Ted. All right, and we are here with EMC TV. The room is filling up. This is, the, the excitement is just palpable it's for this. buzzing out here. Yeah, good vibe. Right, <laughs> isn't it great? So John, we were just talking uh, a minute ago about trends. We've come a long way. We've gone through a lot of transformations. When you look out to the future, what do you see? I see consumerization really driving with Facebook and Twitter, this massive rise in coming Pinterest, just got a $1.5 billion valuation. These big hyperscale companies coming out of nowhere, that's driven by the consumerization with smartphones and mobility, and now with big data behind it, you're seeing consumerization. Also Flash, you guys are really putting Flash a lot of weight behind. Flash technology, absolutely. It's bringing infrastructure re-engineering on architecture. So new architecture are, are, is coming into the infrastructure that power that consumerization trend. And the line between IT and consumer is blurring and going to be going away. Yeah, you know, I, I think it was in 2008, that uh, Joe Tucci said that Flash is going to be the most important development in the uh, enterprise. So yeah. it is helping to drive a lot of this. Yeah, we've seen EMC make some announcements there, some acquisitions. Yeah. So the, the moves on the chessboard are quite interesting. I would add to that. So I, we talked about the IT labor problem before. Yep. Yeah. I think there's two things I would point to, Maggie. One is this notion of converged infrastructure, bringing together servers and compute and storage into a single logical block, like a V block and others are doing it as well. That simplifies, and I think it plays to John's consumerization of IT. It's cloud-like, it makes things simpler, faster deployment. Now that's on the infrastructure side. On the application side, there's a major emerging trend that we've been following at SiliconANGLE and Wikibon, and that's DevOps. The intersection of application development and, and infrastructure operations, yeah. where teams get cross-trained, and we're seeing uh, organizations achieve hyper productivity with new methodologies and new methodology. Yeah. It's beyond agile programming. So that converged infrastructure to take care of the plumbing, and then new methodologies to really deal with the people and the speed to market. Other, well, you know, yeah. you and I were at the uh, at the course launch in New York at the, at the offices of Pivotal Labs right. that EMC acquired, and that's exactly what they're. They great, are the poster child for that so. development. Right. They really they? are. Great yeah. acquisition, by the way. Maggie, the other point that I'll say that's really kind of the meat and potatoes, but not very sexy from a mainstream press and trend standpoint, is that with all the acceleration of mobile and big data, the acceleration of uh, cycles, operating cycles is really changing business. So what's happening is we're watching and trying to figure out what the new ROI models are going to be. Yeah. So business leaders are looking at their business as they transform. What are the key performance metrics? What are the ROI models that are changing? Because now businesses are shortening their product development cycles, their customer acquisition cycles. Their entire businesses are going real time. So that's changing well, how they operate and measure their business. And they're spinning out new businesses at a very rapid rate. New product development, new research and development, new, new actual divisions and business. That is well. in real time. And, and, in real time. And I think it's synergistic with virtualization. So we've seen virtualization deal with, you know, test and dev and cut costs and consolidation. The real challenge for the industry is, and Paul Moritz has talked about this a lot, is going beyond that consolidation piece into deep business integration. And I think the bridge for that deep business integration is data. We've seen uh, VMware make some moves around big data. Yep. And I think that, again, is the, the business value piece that is you know, the holy grail. If I had to predict the next trend, the next, the future of EMC's messaging that Jeremy's doing, yeah. building on his, his excellent messaging, I think real time will be the next one because all, everything's going to real time. Flash, consumerization, it's all about real time business. You know what, we're going to get value. Jeremy together with you right after this <laughs> and you can tell him. That you heard it here on EMC TV first. <laughs> all right, we're going to go back to Ted one last time for a couple more customer interviews and then we'll wrap it up and let them launch. So go back to Ted. All right, Maggie, we got our last red car customers over here. We got the big four guys standing up. We saved the best for last. I told them we saved the best for last today. First name and company. David Gutschow, Rosetta Stone. Jeff Dyer, Munson Healthcare. Scott Dingman, Munson Healthcare. Sean Donaldson, Secure 24. All right, guys, if you can give me your biggest IT of the win so f of this year so far. Uh, EMC VMAX. For us, it would be EMC VPlex. EMC VNX. VNX for us. 
When we talk about IT being agile, got to be fast with not only the with big data and cloud. How is what's the best solution that EMC has offered your company? EMC gives us a total package from the products to the support, and they've been a great partner for us. And they because we're a fast-paced company, and they keep up with our twists and turns and keep us going. So, uh, EMC offers us the flexibility uh, to duplicate across data centers, the DR, the high availability we need to host uh, other hospitals, uh, physician offices. What it allows us to do is provide a higher level of uptime and availability for our customers. As a service provider, we scale very rapidly. So VMAX, VMAX E specifically allows us to scale linear, grow very quickly with predictable, reliable performance. All right, guys, thank you. We did say the best for last. I was going to ask you for your best stories in Vegas, but we'll have to do that another time. All right, All right guys, thank you. So, Maggie, the hall is starting to fill up, starting to get crowded. They're looking anywhere from 10,000 plus for today, and I know it's T minus so oh, a couple minutes. So now I'm going to throw it back to you. Okay, thank you, Ted Wayman, our host, EMC TV host of the tape. Now let's give you guys a chance to pitch the cube. What are you going to be doing while you're here at EMC World? Yeah, so like I said, this is our third year in a row with the Cube, Silicon Angle TV's production. We're bringing in all the guests, John, you mean? We are excited about the Cube because we launched the Cube at EMC World 2012 yep. in Boston. I know, Joe we Tucci feel very proud on. of that actually. Us too. It was the beginning of a journey of, of modern direct business model you guys are doing at EMC TV. We're excited, we've interviewed over 600 people in two years and have over six million views. Great on-demand on content, very evergreen. Uh, users love it, so it's exciting times. We're excited. Right. You know, our goal is to bring independent perspective. We're going to have all the execs on. You know, guys like Good. Chuck Hollis will come on and we'll banter about it. We've got a lot of customers coming on, bloggers, analysts. It's fantastic. Well, I want to check back with you guys tomorrow, right, to get your perspective on what you're going to see here today. All right, we'd love to have you in the cube as well. So oh, yeah. please, all right. Love fantastic, it. exciting. All right, so house. we are going to. Yep, I think we're going to throw it back to the studio, to EMC TV, and then we're going to go live with the keynote. So stay tuned to EMC TV, and we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you, man. All right.